I work as a humanitarian aid worker. We're always uh, traveling and that's how I find a lot of the subjects. Some people are more open and other people are a little suspicious of what you're going to do with the photographs. They're shocked that there's a female in a crisis area photographing people, telling stories. I always like to photograph festivities because you don't get to see a lot of that and uh, I am always looking for happy stories. I don't want it to be trauma all the time. Children during the Eid holidays, they like to dress up very colorfully. They have uh, groups that they move around in. It's a happy story in a location where you don't get a lot of happy stories. How much of a shadow does Boko Haram, the militant group, cast over your town, over your life? Well, I would say it's, uh, uh, it's very, uh, you know, kind of uh, very saddening to say that that's what we are known for and uh, every day you encounter a lot of sad stories. We are trying to bounce back but I would say the vibe right now is one of struggle. We are trying to get back to what we knew. How dangerous is it for you? Uh, for me really I have thrown caution to the wind and I feel like uh, whatever is meant to happen will happen anywhere regardless of where you are in the world. So for me I, I have um, ultimately decided to just be, you know, take a risk. How do you want people in the West seeing these pictures to react? What do you want them to think about your town and about your people? I would like for them to see that we are a people living a normal life. They would be shocked to see that the struggles we face are similar to what they face. And uh, I just want them to see the resilience, the fact that you have adversity, but you are thriving amidst the adversity.